look at a clove hitch real quick. Really commonly used for a lot of a lot of different purposes, right? Isolating ropes, doing dual repels, things like that. Downside of it, it's not releasable. Uh, we can use it and change directions and, and for almost anything, uh, artificial high anchors. So when we look at a basic clove hitch, right? We're gonna make one flip this way, one flip that way. So we have a Q and a P, and then we marry them that direction. And then this is our clove hitch. Uh, tightens that down. We'll use this obviously on releasable systems for, for carabiner blocks and things like that uh, to be able to adjust. We just kind of loosen that portion up here and then we're able to pull this section and then adjust it however we want, cinch it back up, uh, just like that. We're gonna show you a couple other techniques on a clove hitch. So sometimes in a guiding method, you may be guiding people where we'll say our load is over here on our left-hand side. We'll be guiding in this direction uh, over just super easy terrain. If somebody's got kit on, things like that. Once they get to a little bit more substantial terrain, we want it might want to put a muncher hitch in there. So the technique on that is we go to our brake strand that's off here on our right, knowing that our load is to our left. We're going to grab in a direction that we can only make a twist one direction on that. We make our loop just like this, lay that into our carabiner. And now as they get to a little bit more substantial terrain, we can guide them up like this. Now, at the same time, we could do a one-way munter, which we did a video for, but if we're wanting to, we can just keep it like this. Now, if somebody gets in trouble over here on the left, we want to use this, isolate this second line to potentially rappel down to them or lower ourselves down to them to do some sort of rescue. We do the same maneuver that we did with the munter hitch is we grab with our palm away from us, make a rotation, bring that straight in there, tighten that down, and then pop our load side and now we can take the one piece that's loose in there out and we've got our clove hitch now we can use this line to go ahead and do our repel there's going to be cases uh, that you may need to tie that with one hand that clove hitch one hand uh, in cases where you break your hand like I recently did in that we're just going to put that rope with our palm away from us and cup it around our thumb and our pinky and this time we're going to take a look at that and if we go to the right hand side of our rope and grab with our index finger and thumb and pull straight up we can have our clove hitch now at the same time obviously we can come down go to the left hand side of our rope and get a munter hitch all right munter is just clap a half of a clove so for the clove hitch one-handed we just bring that around circle that in pull that straight up put that in there's our clove